Hello, Veteran Owen 2 in here. Welcome back, and this is another episode of Final Fantasy X 2 Remaster. In this episode, I'm going to continue exploring Luca. Oh, I wanted to talk to that guy. I didn't want to leave. Arr, go back. Cargo ship, huh? People are too keyed up to work. Hmm. Did you say so? Treasure? Can I, I can't go up there. Hello. Yeah, I guess. It's like Britney Spears. Yeah, it seems like a pretty dead ass town in the off season. Different camera angle this time, but yeah. Treasure over here, huh? And we got a Thunder Spawn Garmin Grid. Okay, let me take a look at these Garmin Grids that I've got now. I've got a Thunder Spawn one. Oh, okay, so if you go through these, uh... If you, okay, so if you go through all three of them, you'll have access to the Thundaga spell. Very interesting. Healing Wind. Okay, if you go through both of those, then you can use Kiraga. If you go through the blue one, you have access to Cura. If you just have it equipped, you can use Cure. Okay. Very interesting. So I guess if uh, you're not using, like, the White Mage uh, job, then you can use that to have access to to healing magic or whatever. But that's it. That's all the docks. Wow, I thought there were more docks than that. And we can't go that way. Hmm. Holy crap, it's Rin! Ah, the Lady Yuna. It's been too long. What you selling this time? Entertainment. Lady Yuna's calm has given the people of Spira time to relax and enjoy the finer things in life. What better time for me to introduce Sphere Break? It won't be long now before Luca will host the inaugural tournament. You are more than welcome to compete, if you like. Should we? Yeah! Ask around if you would like to know the rules of the game. Edem Hak Desa. What? Oh, hey, thanks for another Albed Primer. Yay. No, again, we have Riku. She's Albed. 
She can speak the language. What the hell do we need primers for? Uh... Yup, I guess. Then about face, you need to be in the hallway on the left side of the stairs. Oh. Wanna leave? How come? Where, where, where's the mini map? Where, where's the mini map? I didn't see a mini map. <laughs> How am I supposed to know where the hell I can go or not if there's like no mini map? Oh well. Core spheres? What the hell are those? A core sphere and coins. What the hell? Uh, yeah, I don't know anything about this fucking uh, sphere break stuff, so I'm gonna have to read about that or something. Or I'm gonna have to find out from uh, NPCs. Can I go in here? Ah, can't go in there. What the hell is Sphere Break? Sphere Break is a brand new game brought to you by Lord Rin. The game requires coins and a core sphere to play. But to get started, you'll need some coins. Okay. Now, what are coins for? Simply in sphere break, you use coins to defeat your opponent's core sphere. Each coin is marked with a number one through nine. Combine the numbers to defeat the core sphere. Okay, there are many, many different kinds of coins, of course. Some kinds of coins are probably still waiting to be discovered. See that sphere break, you'll need to find these coins and grab, grab, grab them. Right, okay. Yeah, what's a core sphere for? Can't have a game of sphere break without coins and the core sphere. The core sphere is a special sphere discovered by Lord Ren himself. When the core sphere is combined with coins, a strange power is born. It is a power that can bring both great wealth and abject ruin to those it touches. The essence of this power has been distilled into the game we call Sphere Break. Uh, yeah, yes, tell me the rules. Oh. Wow, you're gonna give me coins. Okay, I have no idea what that is. You can play my practice course sphere until you... Uh, uh, I don't want to. Yeah, the walkthrough uh, that I'm doing right now doesn't say anything about this minigame yet, so... Can I just cancel? Okay, I guess we're not. I guess we're doing this. Uh, yeah, we'll, I'll go over more of that later. I, I don't want to fuck around with that now, but... Whatever. Hmm. this Ok, 
kids these days. They're just too tough. <laughs> wow, you stink. You got beat by a bunch of kids? You must really suck. Apparently you need to find something else to do with your life. Well, anyways, I think that's all that I want to do here in Luca for right now. So... Maybe heading to the, uh, the Meehan area, I think? I'll, uh, I'll be right back. Alright, I guess we're gonna start, uh, exploring the high road now, Meehan High Road. Made Yuna into a black mage, uh, kept her with the same garment grid as before, the intrepid one, except, uh, yeah, I got her as a black mage instead, so I'm gonna try and build that up if I can. That's the equipment I have for slow protection, confusion, and berserk protection. I figured those would be pretty good accessories to have. And as far as Black Mage abilities, I got her working on focus to start. I don't know, maybe I should work on spells. I figured I'd get that out of the way and uh, stuff like that. So let's go. The Meehan High Road, where Crusaders once marched toward battle with Sin, while travelers fled from its shadow. I walked this road too, on my pilgrimage to Xanarkand. Yes, we know this. And you walked by my side. It was a journey filled with laughter. Yeah. Ooh, robots. Hello. Uh, yeah, how did you know? Once upon a time, a chocobo back was the only way to go traveling the high road, but what... But what of the chocobo hunting fiends and the steady increase of Albed Machina in these parts? You guessed as more and more travelers turned to hovers for their transportation needs, chocobos gradually became a rare sight, changing the face of the high road. On a hover, you can quickly and safely reach your destination. What's more, the travel agency has installed Sentry Machina along the high road to ensure your safe passage. Well, that's the gist of it. Take a look around and see if you're... Really? Wow, that's crazy. Really? If these Machina are doing their job, then why am I still getting attacked? Uh, yeah. Let's do this. You do this. Yeah, yeah just switch around. Well, okay, we're gonna see this one then. Oh, come on, I don't want to see this again. Guess we don't have a choice. is a black mage. Time to teach you a thing or two about black magic. Or not.
Absorb? I suppose. I suppose I could learn that next. Uh, no. No, I think I'm just gonna walk, actually. This time will be much faster. I will clear a path. All I need is my sword. Try this focus ability. This is the part where you can Wait a minute, what did I steal? I didn't see what that said. Oh well. Stole a black something or other. Oh, maybe I should do mental break. Learn flame tongue. that didn't kill her. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end the episode right here. That's all for this episode of Final Fantasy X 2 Remaster. In the next episode, 
Uh, we're going to explore more of this high road. This is Veteran 0 and 2 1. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.